Hey everyone, my name is Sphinx and today we are going to be doing an unboxing haul video of all the dolls that I got for Christmas. So let's just get right into it. Some of them we're going to be unboxing some of them and seeing what's inside. Some of them we're just going to be taking a look at. And there's all different kinds of dolls in here so let's just get right into it. First, I want to start off with this beautiful Shadow High doll. Now, I will be unboxing her but I'm going to keep the box because the box art is just so beautiful and i feel like the shadow high boxes are just really high quality and really beautiful and like as you can see like, she comes she has like a velcro so then you can see inside it's really pretty and so there she is there's the doll so yeah i will be unboxing her but i'm gonna keep the box and display it so let's get her unboxed so she did not want to come out easy but here's the box that i will be displaying still looks really good i tried to keep it nice and here she is now i just have to get her out of this little enclosure now she is all out of the box and honestly the attention to detail on these dolls is really so beautiful and i'm so happy that there's just a line of fashion dolls that is able to just be made with such detail and beauty it really um it really reminds me of like um, original Gen 1 Monster High, but, like, even better, dare I say. Um, I feel like some of the Rainbow High dolls don't have this level of detail, in my opinion, so that's why I really do favor, um, the Shadow High dolls. So we just take a look at her, like, here's her gorgeous hair, it's really soft, it's really nice, and these two very sharp pigtails, you can see she has a little bit of indents from the elastics, but I'll probably, um, brush through that. And then here's, like, she's got her little bows, and they have an S and an H. Um, I think her makeup is really interesting. She's, you know, got these white eyelashes that are exterior, and these faded brows, and it's really nice. Um, I don't know what to call that, but <laughs> her bangs are really pretty. Um, there's just honestly so much detail in this doll, to The pattern of her dress and the texture of her shoes. She's got these killer heels with beautiful zippers too i mean even if you look at her hands she's got painted like long nails with rings she's really really beautiful and i'm just so happy to display her with all my other dolls i love her color palette shadow high definitely knows how to do color palette of course the rainbow high and shadow high dolls come with this really beautiful stand i love the stands they're really cute they're you know color specific to the character which i think is really neat and, you know, I had a little bit of trouble getting her on the stand because of her cape and her pigtails. But she stands on it nicely, and I think she looks really beautiful. So she comes with a beautiful comb, too, so that you can brush that soft, gorgeous hair. Now that my Demi is all unboxed, I want to move on to an LOL OMG doll. I also do really like these dolls, and she comes with a lot of other stuff, so this one's gonna be a little bit um, more of a unboxing even more than Demi was. So let's get into it. Obviously, I think her box is cute. It comes with this little bow. The art is pretty. It's lovely. I'm going to unbox her and I'm probably not gonna keep or display the box. I think um, I'm just gonna get rid of it. It's cute, but I feel like it's not really designed to be displayed in my opinion. So I really, I'm just gonna take her out. So I got Miss Celebrate out of her box. And she looks beautiful. She's stylish. She doesn't have leg articulation. Like she doesn't have knee articulation. Now, I am not going to put Miss Celebrate on her stand yet because now we have to get into her little surprise bags that she comes in. Let's start with this little baggie. So, I guess that these are hair clips? They're really small. I don't know if you can see. They're really small. I think they're hair clips. Uh, yeah, okay, I see. I see her in the picture on her box. She's meant to be wearing these hair clips. They're really small. I have these and I will put them into her hair and she's also got these adorable glasses. Um but I think are really cute, and I'm gonna, you know, try to put everything that came in the surprises on her to show what she looks like with all of those. Now comes the shoes. So now we do have her shoes. Um, these are adorable, and I can't wait to put them on her. Just goes with the outfit really good. They're there. Okay. Now on to this next one. I don't know what this will be. Okay, so she's got this cute little purse. I think that's really cute. It's just molded. It doesn't really open or anything, and it's cute. And then finally, we have this big bag is our final surprise bag. And I don't even know if I can open this. Okay. So, I think this is going to be some extra stylish clothing. Yup, here it came on a hanger, but I unfortunately broke the hanger. Um, 
but I broke the top of it with the, the cute little hanger. Um, I guess this, is this like, this is a skirt. Yeah, she's supposed to wear this as a skirt thing. Um, and I think it's really cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and get on all her little accessories that came in the surprise bags and we'll see how she looks. I think it's a really cute concept to have a fashion doll that you kind of put together yourself. Um, I think that is a cute thing, but I did have a lot of trouble putting the hair clips into her hair and honestly, I don't think I even did that good of a job and I think I would have preferred if she came wearing them. Like it's easy to just put on a shoe and then you know she's got her shoes on but it was very hard to like position these correctly and they're a little hard to put in and I honestly just would have preferred if she came wearing them in my opinion. I just I think they were a little too difficult to put on and I think even though this line is probably a little more marketed towards like teenagers less than kids it's still kind of like a tricky thing and I still would have just preferred if she came um already wearing her hair clips but she looks cute um and i just put on her shoes so here she is in all her glory she has these little uh long acrylic nails which i feel like is not something you see you really saw um on earlier dolls like generation one like monster high and brads i could be wrong but i feel like they're not typically having like long painted nails and she does and also, so do the Shadow High Rainbow High dolls. So, I think she looks really great. I'm going to put her on her stand. And, yeah, move on to the next one. I did manage to forget to give her her little sunglasses. But now she has them. She's on her stand. She's looking gorgeous. She's ready to display. Um, I really like how she looks. Now, we do really have a lot to go through today. And now we have another LOL Surprise doll. This time, it is a tween doll. So, I think they're just, um, they're like the others. Just along with a little smaller side. Um, she's really cute. Again, um, probably not gonna hold on to her box. It's cute, but, um, I just don't think it's the best for display, and honestly, I'm just gonna open her up, and we'll do that. Okay, I got her out of her box. She's definitely little. Um, in my opinion, I don't really like the really small, um, LOL dolls, but I do like the tweens. They still have, you know actual hair and you know detailed designs and i think her design is really cute i love this dress i would wear it honestly um i think the blue clash is a little i won't lie to you but she's really cute her bangs are really down and like glued down which i think is cute it's good because you know i feel like doll's brows um not brows bangs coming up can really be an issue but at the same time anyone who would want to restyle her definitely has that hurdle to go through um she's cute she has the nails you know she has all these details beautiful makeup she has her shoes on um because she does come with some surprises but not quite as many because she's a smaller doll um and she did not come with a brush as far as i could see i could be wrong but i did not see a brush in her packaging so let's just get into her surprises shall we okay first bag okay so she does have a little hairbrush it actually does come in the surprises so that's really cute um it's just a little calm uh, I'm not really going to use it on her because of her curls, but that's cute. I'm glad that she has that. Um, that makes up for her not having a brush, and I think it makes more sense for her to have a tinier brush than one of the big ones that comes with the bigger OMG dolls. And then here, oh, she has this little, I think this is a backpack. It's really cute. It's a black and purple little, like, cat teddy bear thing um, backpack. I think this is really cute. I'm definitely going to put it on her and see. And finally, this is, ooh, really tiny. Um, this is bracelets and earrings to put on her. They're really small, but I'm going to go ahead and get those on her and then put her on the stand and show you guys. Okay, so she, so she is all accessorized. Um, I want to say I really do appreciate that even a doll as small as Lexi still comes with stand and, you know, still got that. She looks great on her stand. I wasn't really able to put this on as a backpack. And I think with the stand, it was just really difficult. So I'm just going to have her hold it as a purse. Hopefully that looks okay. I think she looks great. Let's move on. The next part of this haul is something I'm really excited about, but I will not be unboxing. First off, I am going to show off Real Drama Draculaura. So this is... um. Monster High doll. It's technically Generation 1, but it's produced in 2022. Um, Real Drama is just basically this line, um, just inspired by, like, black and white movies. The dolls are grayscale and then with accents of, um, co colors associated with them. With them. <laughs> so I think Draculaura looks really nice. Unfortunately, her box came a little bit damaged, 
but I'm gonna keep her in box because I really love the box design of just this whole like real you know all this movie-ness it has you know a cute little count fabulous I think she looks really beautiful um just show you some close-ups she has that little artwork in there um <laughs> I love the detail on Draculaura her makeup looks really pretty I think this is such a cool idea for a line and I'm so happy that I was able to get her. She is one of the more, I feel like, hard to find real drama dolls because Draculaura is so pop uh, so popular. So I'm happy that my mom got this for me and that I was able to get such a wonderful doll. I think she's so beautiful and I just couldn't be happier with her. Moving on to my next inbox doll, I have another Draculaura. My first Draculaura to my collection now, technically, because I opened her first. Um, is Miss Holiday Draculaura. I think she is so beautiful. Again, I will not be unboxing her um, because I just love the design of the box. I think it's perfect for display. Um, and I just want to keep her in it. I'm not, I don't necessarily keep things in box for a value. In my opinion, I just prefer to box things based on how I think the box looks for display. And honestly, I think this box is beautiful and it shows her off perfectly. I love the box. It's in it's in perfect shape there's no like damage to the box so i'm just really excited to display her her bangs are a little on the long side and i would you know if i was like an expert um doll repair person i would probably go in there and tr trim a little bit but i'm just gonna leave her as is because she looks really beautiful and i love the detail on this on the holiday doll she, again she is technically generation one but she's produced in 2022 she's a new doll and i'm really happy i'm gonna keep her in box and display her inbox and these will be my two first um inbox collection dolls and they're both monster high draculaura i'm just really happy to have them in my collection now let's move on to the last part of my haul now these are the dolls i was probably most excited about today so today i have a lot of the original generation one boo york monster high dolls so let's just get right into this because I am so excited about these dolls. They're all in really beautiful condition. I don't have stands for any of them, but I probably will because I just, I want to just give the best for these dolls to display them because I'm just so happy with how they look. Her headpiece is a little messed up, but I think when she's just, you know, being displayed, it won't really be a problem. Um, and I might do like, I might do a little like playing with her hair, but I think she looks really beautiful um nephra i feel like is one of the harder dolls to find just in general but especially boo york her doll is a little more sought after and she has you know all her pieces like she's just she's just such in a beautiful condition her hair is soft of course the tinsel is a little bit um you know how tinsel hair is um on dolls but she looks beautiful she really has all her pieces even this beautiful chest piece and i'm really just so happy i really love nephra i love this shoe design and i'm just really so happy to have her i think she's beautiful and just honestly like the generation one monster high dolls are my favorite i like just i love everything about it i actually really do really do like molded on gloves i don't like molded on clothes in general and i do you know appreciate that most fashion dolls of today don't wear any like as you can see like all the shadow high and lol dolls they've had like nothing was molded on like everything was a piece but i will say that I do like molded on gloves on Monster High dolls. I think it looks good. Um, that's how I feel. <laughs> Moving on to another harder to find doll, we have Mercedes King in her gala attire. And I also have her tail right here. It came in a little bag and I'm gonna see if I can get it on. I don't know if it'll look good under her dress, but, but there it is in case she wants to wear it she has her tail which i think is just great that's one thing that can be so easily lost earrings and you know tails and all those and hands all these little things that can be lost so easily and these dolls have all of it you know she has literally everything she has her shoes um she has her earrings she has her tail i really love also the shimmer effect that you can see on these boo york dolls they all have a little bit of shimmer on their skin i think it's really beautiful um i will also say when i'm talking about detail on dolls Generation 1 Monster High is going to be my favorite thing, honestly. I think just the detail on these dolls is so beautiful. You just look at the, the fabric of this. is so, like, different. I don't even know. I love the shimmer on her. Everything about her is just so beautifully detailed. The shoe detail on Monster High dolls is always outrageous, if you can kind of see that. Um, just so good. And I also, one thing I love is just um, the molds of their their skin when they have uh when they're like a fluffy character 
as you or just any character with anything to mold on their skin as you can see like I don't know if you can see it but she has like fluff molded onto her skin and I think she looks really great I love how unique and different every Monster High doll looks you know she has her own shape she's shorter and has a rounder face and has these mouse ears so I'm just really happy about her I really love her and I'm so happy to have her in my collection moving on we have LED and I'm glad I said that right because I will tell you that every time I see this character, I always ac want to accidentally call her LSD, and that's terrible, but, um, it is what- and, and again, coming back to the skin details, she is a robot character, and she has all of that. There's a lot of that skin detailing in this line in particular because of the characters that are in it. Her hair is beautiful still in the elastics, and she has her earring, like, this, uh, one isn't- I don't think has an earring- and this one does. I don't know if this one is meant to have an earring, but it actually doesn't have one. But, you know, the littlest things because she is so beautiful. And she has her shoes that are so beautiful. This beautiful cape. I'm so happy. She's really just gorgeous. And I like her a lot. And I'm really happy to have her. I know I'm just kind of saying the same things, but it's really exciting. Now, moving on, I have Astronova. Astronova, I will say, is not my favorite Monster High doll design. But nonetheless, her hair is ridiculously soft. And I'm very happy to have her, even despite that she's not um, my favorite character or favorite doll design. Because, you know, I'll just, I'll just say that because I don't think, um, I'll always have the beef that she got a doll for me in the movie for like two minutes and Pharaoh didn't get a doll because back then boy dolls weren't really like pressed for. Um, she also has tinsel in her hair, but it stayed, um, pretty nice. And again, with the skin details, she is like this blocky kind of molding with a shimmer it's kind of hard to see on camera but I just think that's beautiful I mean her head mold is different she's just completely different and I feel like there's a lot of that uniqueness specifically in the Boo York line I feel like it really takes um the doll molds outside of the box so here is Astronova then another doll with a unique just print and mold to her is Operetta I think she looks really cute. I don't have any operettas yet. This would be my first operetta. And honestly, the Boo York just regular like city outfits, they're simple in my opinion. Or even just the gala outfits of the main ghouls that come from Monster High. I don't think they're the best thing. Um, she, her hair is perfect. Again, so soft. And as you can see, just all that molding that is on her face. Oh, it's on the wrong side? <laughs> oh, that's on her face. You know, that's on operetta dolls, I think is just so unique the tattooing that's on her arm she's just such a cool she has such a cool design and again while i can't say that you know the the mangles have a really intricate design on their outfits for these i still think they look cute it's a simple cute and she's in beautiful condition so and then another main goal in her city style is claudine wolf um she's very cute again i can't say it's like the most complex outfit but i think it's cute it's fitting i love these boots um her hair is a little messier because it's definitely had some uh, glue seepage. I can't decide if I want to try and fix it or not. Maybe give her a wash because it couldn't hurt because her hair is straight in this doll anyway. Um, she looks cute. She's, again, in beautiful condition. Her hair is nothing bad. It's easy to brush through. It's just a little sticky and glowy. But honestly, I think she's beautiful and I love her. And this is technically my third Claudine. I have one Generation 1 Claudine and one Gen 3 Claudine. But this will be my second Gen 1 Claudine. And finally, moving on to the last one, we have Miss Luna Matthews. And I just can't stop looking at her. Honestly, just the quality of this doll still is just beautiful. And the detail on this doll is my favorite, honestly. Her legs are a little loose. I can probably play around with that and fix it. Not a big deal. Again, so I just want to talk about just the level of detail that is on this little doll because she is really, really beautiful. Starting off, I just want to talk about how that headpiece, it still has um, plastic on it, so it's staying on her head beautifully. And if you can see, it just has that little moth detailing that I think is so cute. Her pigtails are perfect. I feel like these hairs, I feel like the hair of these dolls had to be put back into their style by whoever the owner was because of those, they seem like really like new, nice elastics and usually the elastics deteriorate over time. Um, so I feel like whoever, um, owned these dolls previously, like, definitely restyled their hair, like, and beautifully, because, I mean, oh my god, her face is gorgeous, you can see that kind of, like, 
wow, just the difference in her eyes. And again, again, with the skin details, she has all these insect details on her skin that I think is so, so pretty. And of course, the beautiful moth cape. And we cannot forget her beautiful moth wings. I think the wings are so pretty, so clever, and I'm so glad that she still has them because I assume they probably detach. I don't know, maybe not, but there are definitely like dolls that do lose pieces like that. Um, but it's so beautiful that she is just in such great condition with all her pieces. And she has all this detail on her shoes. I mean, look at that. I think she is such a beautiful doll. And I'm honestly one of my favorites. I don't know. Maybe not one of my favorites, but definitely my favorite of Boo York. I like her character a lot as the Jersey girl. And I just, yeah, I love her. And again, kind of harder to find. Definitely one that is harder for people to find. Definitely more, um looked for in the community now we do also have this little bag with some accessories to go through um this bag did have mercedes tail in it but i took it out and put it on her because you know it's really just part of her doll um i'm not gonna recognize all these accessories because i'm just not good at that at recognizing accessories but you know we can look at them and see what we think so i'm gonna start off and look at these beautiful diaries i don't have a lot of diaries the only one i have is a melody and um persephone diary and I love it. I like the designs of these, they're really cute. Um, they're also unique, which I think is really cute. You know, Astronova, Luna Matthews, this one's my favorite. I really like the design of this. And Mercedes King and LED. And you know, they all have like this unique handwriting that's like specific to the characters. And I just think that's really cute. I think the diaries are a really cute idea and something that honestly I think would be interesting to add to new dolls in, um, in the future, like to um, uh, modern doll lines. And let's see what else is in this bag. So this is a purse. It's got like a spider design on it. Again, I'm not going to be able to tell you what these accessories are or who they go to. Um, really at all. I mean, I assume they're New York accessories, but um, I don't know who what character they go to, honestly, at all. I'm not good with that stuff. I'll probably have to look at a reference of their dolls just to see. Again, this piece. I don't know who that goes to. It's pretty... But I don't know how, who it goes to. It's some kind of like shoulder thing. I feel like that might be to Mercedes. I don't even know. And then we have another little purse. I can't tell <laughs> whose this is. It's cute. And honestly, some of these might not even be New York. And they could have just ended up. But I'm assuming they're because everything has been kept so nice. This is, um, I think, the Comet Crystal thing that, you know, is in the movie. I think... <laughs> This is, um, like a cool guitar thing. That's either for, like, L or Astronova. Um, I don't know, actually. And then this... It's a little thing. I don't know, again, what this goes to. I'm sorry, I'm really not aware of, like, all the accessories. And then this looks like it's part of Nephra, but I don't know where it would go. But basically, the blueness of it reminds me of Nephra. And again, some glasses that I don't know who they go to. Maybe Astronova. Um, but it's really cute, and I'm glad that we have all these little accessories to go through as well, and to go to all these beautiful dolls that are just in the best condition ever, and I'm just so happy. Okay, so that is all the dolls that I have to go through today, but I will say that I have some more on the way, so I will definitely see you guys soon to see some more dolls and to build my collection. One thing that is definitely on my priority list is to get some stands for these beautiful Boo York Monster High dolls. Thank you for watching and have a merry, merry Christmas.